Hey guys, morning. Right now I want to uh, eat like uh, I want to eat a chocolate toast and head to the radio because this is the last day uh, this week. So Netherlands best. It was okay with the girls. I realized we had amazing conversations. We were a mixed group of single woman and a uh, woman in couple. One of them had a child. And oh boy, we see things so differently. I believe this this is fine. In terms of making plans and trying to choose like a trip or stuff like that, we had different opinions because the ones that were single, including myself, I preferred some company that gathers people, you know, travel groups to meet new people, while the other ones preferred just to be us. And it was interesting. And I was like, yeah, but you know, single people still want to meet new people. Like, I love you and I want to spend time with you. But if I can do both at the same time, why not? Oh my God, maximum recording time reached. I don't think I can record today too much. I'll be back when I will um, reset the memory or free some memory. I am done for today. And I'm, I am so tired. Oh my God, I hear. <sighs> I'm done for today at the radio station. It was a really nice day. I had company. So um, the day went uh, so, uh, so much easier. So seven hours here. And now uh, I wanted to stay a little bit in town, but I'm too, too tired. And I think I will pr prioritize sleep and self-care. So I will head home for today. Uh, I also have uh, more memory because I managed to fix that. It's weird. It's weird to vlog with the phone, but I suppose it's the best because you have it already on yourself so carrying a camera might be difficult and making things uh, way more difficult so I'm going home now I don't have any uh, special topics for you to be honest um, I, I'm still um, bothered that every time I meet a new person they want to know if I'm single or not and it's not because they are interested in me it's just they want to know that as if I don't know what's your name and what's your boyfriend's name or girlfriend's name <laughs> um, and uh, people amaze me and not in a good way every time even though what I mean I mean why why do you want to know that about me why do you want to know my marital status status pardon my english <laughs> man i'm not asking you these kind of questions they are freaking rude but yeah people are rude and i had to learn on my own what my therapist tried to te to tell me um, years and years on a row that common sense doesn't exist and we are different and we were raised different and we perceive normal as different things I hate when people stare at me when I'm vlogging I'm not used to it yet I don't think I will be ever <laughs> but anyway uh, this is another day uh, into my uh, life, a 36-year-old woman, single, child-free, and jobless. <laughs> I work so much for a, a person who um, doesn't have a job and can sustain herself. Like, I work goddamn much. I think I am tired, and that's why I, I feel like I'm yelling. Or maybe it's just because I come from the radio station where I usually speak a little bit 
louder. Anyway, I'm tired. Let's go home. Guys, it is 7 p.m. and I'm already in bed and I feel like it's midnight. So tired. I'm here in my bed and I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm here in my bed with my ginger beer. No, no, go. I am so, so very tired. I'm watching a Netflix series, Lydia Poet. It's nice, but I'm tired. I'm so tired. What are you guys doing at 7 p.m. on a Sunday? It's crazy. I used to party. <laughs> oh, I used to party very, very well. That era seems so fun. I even kicked my cat out. I hate doubt. And right now, maybe because I'm so tired, I'm doubting myself, my future, my career. I don't even know if I will be able to make a career. I feel so scared right now. I don't know what will happen to me. And what will happen when I will be so old? I don't have investments. No retiring plan. No funds. I hope I will watch this video in 10 years and see like, hey, I was doubting for nothing. I hope that in 10 years I will watch this video and I will laugh. I think I got life backwards. Sometimes I, I live with this feeling that I got, I understood life backwards. I am an artist. I think I need a certain degree of doubt. But this right now... It's just a little bit too much doubt. And I'm trying to be strong. And go to work. Even though I have no contract. And no money. People are, yay, you're going on the radio. <laughs> but my situation is not as secure. And I believe that this field is not that secure. I feel like you can run out of money, out of projects, out of jobs really, really, really fast. But this is also a life, you know. And when I will have to, I will make different decisions. I hope I won't have to uh, take a different turn again. Because I feel like I've been doing that for my whole life. I feel like I'm studying over and over and over and over. And this shit never ends. <laughs> and I want it to just... I want to feel safe. I, f I believe that's the conclusion. I, I wish I feel safe doing things that fill me inside. <laughs> Not my belly, though. They didn't fill my belly. <laughs> I, I need money for that. But feel my soul. And I feel like I'm doing the right things. But it's scary. It's right, but it's scary. I'm not yet ready to talk about my hidden dreams. But in secret, I hope I will end up there. And when I will feel safe, I will tell you. But right now I'm just petrified and sometimes I want to just cry because I feel like I won't be able to get there ever. I had hopes and dreams for my life. Right now I feel old and tired. Please tell me I'm not old because tired I know I am. <laughs> but please tell me I'm not old because society tells me I'm old at 30 something. 
And to be honest, I am almost, almost the only person I know without a clear future. <laughs> it is scary. It is scary. My latest nightmare, because I have a few, is to be old and homeless. And I don't know what to do with that piece of information. <laughs> There's something in my head. And I should think about more pleasant things to work towards that. Not, you know, towards something I'm afraid of. I am grateful this night is for this stillness. I love quiet and I am so grateful that I don't have kids right now. It's just one thing I'm grateful for. I'm grateful that I'm tired and I can rest. I'm grateful that I'm fearful, but I have my space, my time just to take care of myself. I'm really, really really grateful for that. I think I'm going to leave you with this thought right now, right here. Good morning! It is so dark outside. Like... <laughs> I don't have the lights on. You can see me pretty, pretty well on the camera, but it is dark what is happening it's my my free day oh it's raining that's what's happening um it's my monday it's my free monday yay i'm so happy i'm so happy are you happy are you happy baby are you happy baby <laughs> okay he's everywhere he's everywhere Baby, I don't want to do anything in particular and I feel so lucky for that because I, I'm not forced to do anything. <laughs> How lucky I am. Maybe I will edit uh, one more vlog because the, um, the videos, the recordings are... Um, adding up in my uh, phone memory so I am going to do that because I've already released the first vlog it doesn't have any success I have like four views or so and I guess zero likes because I liked my video so just to be one like there so, yeah, but I will continue. I will continue to vlog. Okay. Uh, one thing I want to do today, and that is to take care of my plants. I want to do that. And more so that Big tried to kill one of them. Bibi, you murderer. You murderer. He doesn't care. Do you care about my plants? Do you? Do you? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't care. Anyway, let me show you the plant. It's all over. It's all over the place. No plants. No plants. Just plants. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Have a great week. Hey, 7 p.m. on Monday, and I am already in bed. In bed. Today, I didn't do much. I talked on the phone with some friends and then I had therapy and after that 
I went to a fair here for Marty Shore. I told you a lot, I believe, about this Marty Shore thing. And I'm going to show you what it is. I ended up emptying my account and my cash. So right now I'm on zero. I had some from today and some others from the other day. So first, first of the first is joined by fire and I love their work. I buy from them every year. Oh, is the other way around. So basically, let me show you what Martishore actually is. This string is actually Martishore. And you can put some ornament or I don't know, something with it. And it becomes Martishore. And this one has a string inside, so yeah, it has a string inside. And you actually wear them together. Maybe, I don't know, the whole month, the whole uh, March, Mar March month. I have another one from Joined by Fire. Oh, come on, come on, come on, get out. Okay, this. So you can wear it with this string attached. Oh, come on, see? And this is basically the Marty Shore thing. Another one of these, it means somewhere, and I believe this, I will, um keep it from for myself because i i love the colors and this somewhere in romanian undeva undeva means somewhere another one says ikigai this is for a friend of mine she's into japanese things and also uh, into this uh, particular uh, how do you call the technique papier mache this is uh, I believe papier mache it's paper so this is for her actually all of them are for my friends and maybe some for me <laughs> maybe I will um, keep some some of them for myself Okay, this is a butterfly from another uh, artist, Zuzulina Ceramics. I loved it. It's very, 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 very cute. And I have another one, which I remember being also cute. Oh, yes. This is for another friend who works on herself and um, self-development. And it is said... Iepur prezenți aici și acum, which means Bunny's, um, um, I don't know, is like present. Bunny's in the present, here and now. And I felt like this is really, really, really nice. So, I absolutely adore this one. These are simple cards with illustrations, but I loved the message. Better rich and healthy than poor and ill. <laughs> so it's a it's an inside joke I had with I have with two friends. So it's for them. I, I bought two the same. They are the same. Because we all have this joke and of course I bought two more of these like um, it is says that friend is like wine uh, the older the better so I will give this uh, to uh, my also my friends I have so many friends and with uh, each and 
every one of them I have different jokes and stuff. Also having here tea, jelly beer, jelly bears, jelly bears. Um, I also have another tea with cherry pie. I have <laughs> Miss Fortune cookie and I will I bought one for myself and I want to just uh, share them with uh, a friend of mine who have this dark sense of humor. Uh, this is from another artist, Diana Kojokaru, and it is a heart. It's ceramics or something. Ah oh, no, porcelain. It's porcelain. And it's really, really cute. Another heart, also from uh, the same artist. It's just that this is wood, it's painted wood. Oh, this one it actually is mine. I received it from my mom and I will wear it. It's Melly Mello, but it is cute. I like it and I think I it will look amazing with some stuff I have. Um, also these are not Mertishore, but there are presents for Mertishore for a friend of mine. It's from Parfois. So it's a pair of earrings and I love them and I hope she will love them. I also have this one for another friend of mine. Very, very nice things. I, I'm not sure if I can uh, translate everything. But it says that spring is about new but familiar. About less uh, clothes, um, warmer sun, uh, beating hearts that are joyful. And, of course, Mertishoare. What makes you happy the most? Going back to nature or going back to yourself? If uh, spring, you feel like um, you're going back to yourself or to be with uh, the dearest ones, then choose the symbol that uh, makes your soul laugh. These are mountains and I'm this friend of mine love the mountain so and we also go together to the mountains so this one is for her uh this is for another friend i'm not sure if you can see on the camera but it is green it's a tiny tiny house a green house and it's for a friend of mine who loves loves green this is parfois I'm not sure who will receive these, but anyway, parfois. And also parfois for another friend. This is the whole Mertishore thing. 